The recent exhibition, Something Extraordinary, a visual review of story as timeless, delves into the process of visual storytelling and examines black history through the lens of eight black artists. Last week, we introduced you to three of the artists responsible for the exhibit on display at Westfield State University. And this week, we continue with part two of our discussion, exploring how the project fosters unity and the inspirations behind the installations. Iman and I have known each other since we were 14. And I was saying to my wife the other day, like I, I never thought at 14 that we would still be friends at 40. 40 felt like, you know, it would never come. You know what I mean? Of course, I'm like 43 now. So, um, but like just having friendships, um, I wouldn't be the, the artist that I am today if him and I weren't friends because over the years, uh, we've consistently bounced ideas off of one another, critiqued, critiqued each other's works. Um, and so uh, there are a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have even attempted if there weren't, weren't an emo, you know, in my life, you know, so that's, that's really important. I like to add to his point about community, about how it brings people together. And um, a lot of people, um, I don't know if they realize this or not, but art is like the lifeblood of a society or, you know, a community. And if you don't have that, there's always feel like there's something missing. Um, mm -hmm. Me and Ema went somewhere, and there was no paintings up. There was nothing up, and we're like, "This this place sucks. <laughs> it's boring in here." And like, it makes me want to grab a marker and draw on the wall because yeah. it was just it was just so bland. And it's like, yeah, they, artists are like the spice of life. And yeah. when you have that little bit of, like, even this exhibit alone, like everybody has their lane that they're in, and they're in their lane and doing everything so well that it stands out from everybody else. We're all doing art, we're all yeah. using paint. Mm -hmm. You know, we're literally, you know, doing the same thing, essentially. We're creating something that was in our head. Mm -hmm. And it's like, to, for people to experience that, it mm -hmm. not only creates good memories, but you inspire other artists as well. Yeah, yep. that's, that is a huge part of it because, I mean, I didn't know any of you aside from Ima, and these people are my friends now. You know, we mm -hmm. are, and they're my support group, whether or yeah. not you guys know this. Um, yeah. But I found um, when we were installing work and even on the, the day of the exhibit, there was a lot of talk about um, what our work practices are, um, sharing new techniques. And it was like I left each of those interactions just so excited and just pumped to try new things. And it's, it's like when you go to school and you, you know, you feel like you're the only one, and then you, you make a friend or you meet somebody, and they're, oh, they're weird like me. Mm -hmm. You know, like they, yep. they get it, you yep. know? Yeah, so yeah, they're, yeah. they're my people. It's, <laughs> it's like it. It, it, yeah, and, and then, I don't know, you, you push that energy outward, too. Yeah. You know, you find more of your people. It's, yeah. it's been a really awesome yeah. experience. And we, we talked about this um, before the interview, but this exhibition is, you know, sharing black stories made by black artists but you're intentional that it's not just for black viewers or it's, it's beyond, it's for people of all backgrounds. Um, so how can people relate to this regardless of your racial, ethnic, religious backgrounds? Well, I think anybody um, in the case of Jaja's work, um, anybody that has been a parent or has been a child um, can relate to what goes on in a family and also maybe things that you don't realize are going on at the time um, until you put a little bit of years behind you. Um, I think with Kali's work, um, everybody can relate to the need to have a message to get out, the need to, to share that, to lift other people up. Um, and I think that, you know, with my stuff, everybody had toys at some point, right? You know, I mean, whether they were, you know, fancy ones or, you know, like something you made yourself. So, Everybody has a need to express themselves. Um, people want to connect. And I think it also hopefully um, makes people free to feel like they can ask questions. So yeah, it is definitely all inclusive. Um, you're going to get out of it what you what you what you put into it, yeah. You know. Like I know personally, I'm from New York. So if you're a New Yorker, or you're from any big city, you know what I mean, where people of color are concentrated in specific neighborhoods, you get it. You know what I mean. Yeah. You can relate to this because mm -hmm. this is it's not like it happened in an isolated pocket. Like these kind of policies have been instituted across the country. So yeah, I think I think everybody can can identify. And so with this exhibition um, titled Something Extraordinary, what is that something extraordinary that you find within this collaborative project? You know, I, I really I really like the fact that we're not just telling our own stories. There's mm -hmm. there are, there's a personal aspect to it. Yes, like I, I'll just 
say my own work like it, it is it is my story um, but it's not just my story because I, I know so many men personally who have either been through this or are going through it and it doesn't get talked about it doesn't it doesn't get brought to the light you know we're just missing from the conversation like that's how society sees us as missing and what I really wanted to do with this work is put it on display it's not something that I need to be ashamed of because I've never been ashamed of being a dad and I, and I never um, saw a life without my kids um, that I never once thought man I don't I don't want to take care of my kids no I want to be responsible for my kids and I want to be a part of it and I don't want to be told that I can only see them on these days and these times that's that is a universal story whether people want to acknowledge it or not um, black men men of color Puerto Rican Latino whatever we're there we just don't get talked about I, I like also the the when I look at all of the pieces here um, there's a resourcefulness also you know um, I used to tend to think of um, the arts as being something really expensive. You need a lot of great equipment. You need, you know, top, and, and I'm sure. That and then you see Faustine's work. Right, exactly. <laughs> he or, does these amazing exactly. things. And I'm using my little dinky dollar store lights to take photos, you know, and Kali is, you know, making his own giant pencils and, and Kimberly is using cut mm. paper. And mm -hmm. you, when I was a little kid, you know, I used to think an artist was, you know, just one type of thing. And then it was just really awesome to have reinforced that you know we're all artists yeah. um we all are working in different ways and we're all this great community yeah. it the the i know we keep coming back to you know talking about community but that is definitely that's been the biggest win for me this was my first art show so that in and of itself was exciting but it's the friends you make along the way mm -hmm.